Ah, Link, you fat ass! <laughs> and here we just fall from the ceiling and... Hmm, we've got a bunch of spirits here. That's odd. Let's go see them. Whoa! Oh my god! It's the kids! It's the kids! By god. Well, who are they sitting with? Are they sitting with a shaman king? Cribes, I don't see those black brutes anywhere! Okay. <laughs> They've gotta be hiding somewhere, waiting for the helpless little prey to come out. Then they'll feast! Yeah, I'm sure they will. Because we killed them all. We are safe as long as we remain in here, child. Be at ease. That stupid tallow. Oh yeah, I wonder if the monsters out there agree with you. Wow, what a jerk. That guy just looks like a like a twat. I'm not even lying. It sure didn't seem impressed by my bombs. How long do you think we can hold this sanctuary against beasts that strong, huh? God. <laughs> Once they attack, it's over! God, okay, you're scaring the kids. Remember the lady from the general store? Just one of those things attacked her and the whole gang from town went to save her! Wow, there's Tallow, he's like, or Mallow, he's like, oh boy, I could take out these bitches if I wanted. And what happened? She was already gone and there were two monsters waiting! You're scaring the kids. You connected the dots? That means if we get attacked by them, then we'll be... <laughs> Bonds! Whoa. <laughs> Aw, you made Beth cry, and it appears Ilya is not with these group of children for some reason. Yeah, now you feel like an asshole, don't you, you stupid jerk? Look, Renato, I only mean to say is that it's risky here, too. Ain't you got some place we can hide? Well, what do you guys call what you're doing now, jerking off? I mean, really, there is a cellar. <laughs> Right here, we've got the inhuman capability speed of not Spider-Man. Why do you got a cellar? Where's the entrance, man? The entrance to the cellar is designed to open when all of the candles has been lit. Wow, isn't that a nifty invention? What decade are we living in right now, exactly? <laughs> it's a Mr. Go-To, man. I would not do that. Oh, that was her, that's not. When father instructed me to secure the cellar, I saw insects like the beast outside, and I'm pretty sure that animation is reused and reversed, just the way he moved like that. <laughs> that was not Renato speaking, and that man is named is Renato, so. Don't cry, Beth, it'll be okay. Ellison is coming to save us all. Wow, you're not much of a downer anymore, even though your haircut is kind of lame, and <laughs> that's, uh, Fudo, I think, or yeah, food, food, something. Ludo is the new girl that we've got, and it's the daughter of the shaman, Renato, who is the man right there, who's the shaman of the village, Kakariko. So I can feel it. I'm sure you can. Man, that must be some kind of weird feeling to, like, be in a room where people are totally, like, expecting you to do something and not being able to do anything about it. Oh, God, that was weird. How sad to be sat right in front of not being noticed. Oh, gee, thanks. We're chosen by the gods, and that's the only thing that's stopping us from being a dark monster, blah, blah, blah. You'll be doomed to toil in obscurity forever. Bitch, my name is Link. I will never, you know, lather in obscurity. All right, so she chose this state of affairs after all. So what's having to light candles to get to the basement? Not very subtle, is it? I don't know if that was sarcastic, because I don't think anyone in real life even has that kind of little thing. Lonely little hero, you say. Lonely little lion, man. So basically, we're going to pick up this stick, and we're going to go ahead and light up all the candles. I must, this, this must look very odd to the creatures of the real world and the children and such, and I missed. All right. We can jump over here, and what? Okay, good. The, the, the fire will uh, run out eventually, so there's that. So let's get rid of that, and let's see what the... You know, the kids have to say about this. What sorcery is this? The entrance to the cellar opening on its own? Could those beasts have engineered even this? Uh, maybe. <laughs> They're just all staring at it. They're not even slightly concerned. Now, let's see what this jerk has to say. This is Barnes with your... Christ, shining like everyone's trying to pull a fast one these days. Boy, I don't have a clue who this Ellison fella is, but I've got to say, I ain't overly confident he's going to save this here village. Yeah, well, gee, thanks. I'm, I bet your, your words are about to be eaten, bitch. I mean, just you wait. So we're going to go down here into the cellar. I mean, what kind of a cellar, like, starts out like this? I mean, that's odd. And there's here. We've got their insects. Very nice. Uh, the three insects that we saw from the outside. We're going to just go ahead and take them out. Oh, you guys suck. All right, let me kill you now. 
I was gonna kill you all fast and swiftly, but now I guess it looks like you guys deserve a little retribution and death. So we don't need that heart. Um, I don't know if I know if I made note of this, but the tears of light do indeed grant you a small bit of health. I think a heart. So there's that. And boy, a dead end. Wait a minute, Midnight. You can help us get out of this sticky situation. Well, how about that? Hmm. How about what? Looks like you can climb the scaffolding. Well, yes, it does. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. Because that is our only exit. I don't think we can actually go back the other way. And if we did, we wouldn't be able to jump off the roof because of how it collapsed. And here we are in Kakariko Graveyard. Hmm, this is odd. So now here we have Shadow Keys, which I do not believe we've had the pleasure of meeting quite yet over the course of this game. But here we've got another one of these things we have to dig up. Die. There we go. Alright, so let's dig you up and kill you. Okay, I so said kill you. We're gonna keep barking. Okay, you can stop playing Ring Around the Rosie. This isn't the Black Plague we're talking about here, but you. Okay, you know what? Screw you. I said screw you. There. Thank you for being screwed. Because that is how I appreciate your cooperation is in the screwed variety. So let's get out of here, shall we? Uh, nothing else in the graveyard. We're gonna come back here a couple more times later. We just gotta remember that for some reason Renato's house leads to the graveyard, which is a little odd. But um, we're gonna come out here and this is Renato's house again. So now I guess we can get started with collecting the rest of the spirits here. Over here we have what appears to be a dead end sign by the Elde Inn Management, which is the Kakariko Village Inn. I don't know why they called it Elde, but whatever. Over here we can actually dig in, or I mean crawl in through here to this unmanned, you know, notice how I say unmanned, general store. Boy, I sure hope this doesn't get possessed by any demonic beings anytime soon, but here, if we head over here, we're gonna see another one of these things. I wanna kill this thing fast, because if he gets running around, he's gonna be a bitch to kill. So kill him while he's like that, because sometimes he'll like glitch and he'll go back, like under, like where we came in through this area. Like, if you just miss him or something, or if you provoke him, he'll like go down here and he'll be really annoying to kill. Unless you do like the spin attack, but... Then again, for like single creatures, it's not really practical for you doing all too often. So now that's done. You know what? That dead end sign, you know what? Screw that. We're going to go up here because we don't care. I mean, isn't everything in this area dead end? So here we have the shadow rocks again. And he did not look very rendered at all, but uh, we can go ahead and kill him. And here's this really derpy noise. Oh! Uh, and he didn't drop any hearts for us, unfortunately. Oh, great. So let's see what this sign says this time. Do not jump from here. Hotel accepts no responsibility for accidents. Is that so? Let's see you accident this, bitch. Let's go and head in here now. <clears throat> and here is like a kind of an interesting little area, I kind of thought. So first things first, you're going to notice there is one being in this corner over here. But we don't know where, but we do find a fireplace. So it's a little, it's a little cold in here. Let's go and uh, light it up, shall we? Get it lighted up. Just kidding. All right, you can, come on, there we go. And with that, oh, we smoked him out. But, unfortunately, he doesn't die for whatever reason, so... Looks like that's what we're gonna have to do, is kill him! And you wanna make sure to get him before he jumps off, because he's really annoying to get if, you know... <laughs> he's not jumping off, or when he is jumping off. So there's another one on the top floor of this inn, but... Wait, it looks like these Boca Blends are getting a drink. Shadow Boca Blends. I always thought that was kind of funny how they're like... Sometimes they'll be like... I don't know. It's just... I like the little things they do in this sometimes. It's just kind of funny. Here we've got a chest. And I think this is the first time we've opened a chest as Wolf Link. We got a red rupee! Not that we necessarily need it. But let's just go upstairs, I guess. And confront this last insect that is in this area. Oh, and there's another guy up here. So you can knock him off. I, th I don't think it'll kill him. If you just knock him off the edge, which would be kind of cool. This is Sparta! Alright, let's get out of here. And here, for the last time, we just gotta go bump him off. And yes, I knew where he was before I even saw him. Alright, did I get him? Um, maybe? Yeah, that was nice. That was pretty sweet right there. Alright, cool. Now that that's done, we can actually... I said, now that that's done, we can get out of here. I don't think we killed that guy, did we? Let's go, let's go see for ourselves. We want to make sure he's good and dead before we continue on. Even though it doesn't really matter and has no bearing on our quest whatsoever if one person survives. But let's, let's just get out of here. Uh, this is such an oddly constructed area and there's, okay, it's burning through the wood required to get out here. It makes a lot of sense, but... <clears throat> My voice is still kind of sore from last time I was recording, which was yesterday. 
So, I don't know. Maybe I should have let my voice rest a little more. I slept so much last night. Like, it's not even funny how much I slept. And we actually don't have to go up here. I don't know what I'm doing. We actually want to start heading off into the next area. Well, by next area, I just mean the next section of houses. Because, as you can tell, we're going to head over here. Most of them are on the left side of the village. And the right side doesn't really provide much for us right now. So, what we're going to do, we're going to head over into this house right here. And Oh, Link, you fat ass. How dare you break the roof. Ugh. So anyway, here we are in this area, and I think this one, yes, this is the one where you have to move the crate out of the way. And with that, he is out. He's out of the box. There we go. Very nice. Now that he's dead, I'm going to collect him. This is kind of mundane, I apologize. I mean, it's... I can't really help it, but it's just what we have to do, so... Oops, 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 nope. Grab it. Oops, never mind. If you're done with your errand, let's go. Okay, yes, that is what I wanted to do. And over there, not without bonking our head on the ceiling, that was like, oh, concussion! Oh, great. So here we've got these guys. These guys are annoying, the stupid shadow keys. I'm probably going to jump off this, even though I have to. Let's jump off. And now over here, we have what appears to be this house. And we have to go to this weirdly placed shaddy, shaddy, like caddy shack thing. Over here, we've got a window we've actually got to uh, jump through, and this is kind of a weird jump. But what we want to do is jump, jump! And I missed. Oh yes, I grabbed onto the ledge! I usually fall off, but it's not often that I actually get that on my first time, so. Yay for me for milestones! Woohoo! Oh man, you guys, I'm so excited. So here's the bomb shop. This is Barnes Bomb Shop. And we're going to go head over here. And where is that jerk? He's hiding some- oh, is he in here? Yeah, we knocked that thing over, we almost died. I wanna kill you- yeah, we got him like halfway! Oh man. Yeah, oh, come on, let me- let me grab that light spirit from you, thank you. The light- the terror of light. Because he was so emo that all he did all day was cry. And there ain't nothing no one could ever do about it. Now this last one is a little bit interesting- well not this last one, but you're notice- Come back here you stupid thing! Ah, oh, we gotta- Catch him before he makes us get into any trouble. And it looks like we can dig inside of that area, like in that tunnel, but we can't. So, uh, okay, so it looks like we can pick this up, and it looks like it wants. Oh, they're all in the fireplace! This is gonna be easy! Let's just set fire to that bitch, even though this all says no fire. You know, whatever, it's already burning here, you know? So let's go ahead and put that in there, and. Yeah! Alright, yeah, you guys are on fire now, bitch! Oh, great. What did you do? Sorry, but as a romantic as this is, I'm not gonna stay in here with you. Now. Oh crap, we should probably get out of here, huh? Then ah! I think it'll just keep hurting you until you leave. It doesn't actually explode. Spoilers, as we're in it. So it's burning, it's not quite exploding. And what? Death? Well, that's what you get for leaving all your explosives in one place. And I love how the three tiers of light are just sitting there. Like, it's like they had no chance whatsoever. They were doomed to lead a life of an explosion that would bring tears to Michael Bay's eyes and penis. So, you had to sacrifice someone's house. It wasn't really anyone's house. It was mostly just Barnes explosive cash. Like, it wasn't like a place where anyone was necessarily living. It was just, you know, where he kept all his shit. So, anyway, uh, I don't think we go... Oh, yeah, maybe we do go up all the way up here. I can't remember... Yeah. Oh, and we're getting attacked by the derpy men. Die. You just piss off. Get off our backs, will ya? Got more keys. Alright, you know what? Oh, man. I don't want to jump off, but whoa! Ooh, that was close. Don't knock me! Are you kidding me? You knocked me off the edge. Okay, you know what? I wanted to be cool and kill you all simultaneously, but it looks like that's not going to happen in this Let's Play because the Let's Play curse prevents me from doing such a heinous act against reality. I mean... I mean, doing well on an LP? <laughs> this is unheard of. I mean, I tell you guys what. So anyway, we can dig in through here. It's obvious even without the senses, but it, it's still, I mean, kind of fairly obvious where we have to go. And so, ow, how did you get in here? We're going to head over here, and there's the bug, so we're going to kill you. Oh man, you, you won't believe the trouble we had in getting over here. I mean, come on, man. Ugh, so we're going to collect you. It appears that this is supposedly the last light spirit in all of Kakariko Village, but we're missing three, so what's up with that? Where could the other three be? I mean, if you look at the map, there's nothing there. So, hmm, looks like we're gonna have to broaden our, uh, you know, our geographical horizons a little bit. And suicide ourselves! Wee oh, that didn't hurt me at all. Oh, hey, look, there's a new trail here. Let's see what it says. Where do we want to go next? Please enlighten us. Death Mountain. Death Mountain. Thoroughfare? What the hell is thoroughfare? 
Whatever. Let's go to Death Mountain. That sounds like it's going to be a walk in the park, man. It's a great luxury area of vacational interest where many people will go on their honeymoons and such. Hmm. Up there we have a little puny light spirit. Thank you for bringing attention to that game. It's like the pass impassable, but it looks like I can get you up there if you want to go. Yes, please, Midna. Let us go up here. This is exactly where I want to go. This is exactly where I want to be. So let's see, and we've we've got a Goron! Dude, Gorons look so cool in this game. They're all tattooed and shit. It's like, yeah, I'm only 16 years old, man. Just check me out. So they talk to him. Ugh, why do I have to stand guard? The ladder is destroyed, so it is not like any humans will come up. What is with the elders? If we have a problem the humans can help with, we should ask. It is better than suffering for the sake of pride. Here, yeah, look how mad he is. It's so, it does not seem like the Gorons and humans are on the best of relationships right now. So, that might have something to do with the fact that this is going to be our next area of interest, unfortunately. Well, not unfortunately, I should say, but... Uh, can we... Okay, fine, whatever. I don't like using the attack as Link, like the normal slash attack as Link, because it's just kind of, like, like odd, but we can continue on, and hopefully we'll be able to glean a little bit of information as to why the Gorons and humans aren't exactly on, you know, the right footing with each other. But, um, for the time being, we're gonna have to get those Shadow Spirits. The Shadow Spirits? What the hell am I smoking? No, there's tears of light, and as you can tell, there's three over in this area, so let's continue on, shall we? Let's continue on, shall we? So here we've got these uh, air ducts that are blowing air. Like <laughs> You guys, you blow so hard. But it's not like they do any damage. So here, we've already seen one of these, I do believe, before. Um, maybe not, but these are howling statues. If we go and listen to it, now we can play a song. So we can just do whatever. Now basically you have to hold A to make the little cursor go and then we'll go do this and you can it's basically just up, middle and down. By middle you don't have to press anything. So um we can actually play a song which is <laughs> 